The fierce southern sun beats mercilessly on the stupid flimsy umbrella. The sound of the crashing waves makes me slightly nauseous. Or maybe it's all the rich food we are being force fed every two hours. This is supposed to be a fancy resort and I can't believe I let Maddie talk me into this. I have never felt so miserable in my life. I miss our horses, particularly spice and char, so bad it hurts. And I never knew it was possible to physically hurt for missing something. Spice is so beautiful, that glossy golden brown coat and so spirited. We have customers who drive hundreds of miles just for the pleasure of riding her for a couple of hours. I hope Elias is brushing her properly, but I don't think so. Elias is a lazy slob, coming from a line of lazy slobs, as my poor departed dad used to say. He hated Elias and his family, and would have never let them within an inch of his stable, let alone entrusting them to their hands for a whole week, while we went on a stupid resort. I don't think my dad had had a day off in his life and I told Maddie repeatedly. She had yelled it at me, those damn horses. They are bread and butter, Maddie. I shouted back, and besides, you love them too. She had replied in a softer voice, yes, of course I do, but I need a break and Elias is perfectly capable who knows our horses. He will take good care of them while we are gone. She drew closer to me and looped her arms around my neck. And maybe you and I can find a little time for each other. She smiled and for a moment she looked like the girl I had married. I should have known then and there nobody in their right mind could call Elias capable. But Maddie sure seemed to think so, and here we were. I frowned and my stomach charned. None of that sweet talking led to anything anyway. Maddie is always running around half naked on the beach. If my poor dad could see her, he would turn in his grave. I closed my eyes. All this free time, at home, we work at dawn to dusk tending the horses, and now I had a moment to think. Things were starting to fall in place. I hate Maddie. I hate Elias. Maddie comes up to me, glistening wet. She's a big strong girl, working on farms and around horses all her life. Her exposed skin makes me uncomfortable. For a moment, I see Char's black shining backside and wish I could rub my hands on the thick soft fur. Come on, you old bagger cries Maddie. Get in the water with me. It's amazing. There are those rocks. We can jump off them. It's incredible. There's no way I'm getting into that sea and not with her. She's a swimmer and could easily hold me underwater. Certainly, I am not going to be jumping off any rocks with her. I haven't worked it hard all my life on my family farms to leave it to Maddie and fucking Elias. I'm going back to our room for a nap, Maddie. I don't feel so good, I mumbled, dragging myself up from the stripy beach chair. Rest up. Remember, we're going on a cliffside walk to watch the sunset in a couple of hours, she cries as I walk away. Maddie and Elias. Elias can take care of the horses. Let Elias help you with spice. Elias can take chard for his morning gallop. Elias and my horses. I lie back in the chilled hotel bed. One of us is going down that cliffside.